This is Selma Schimmel, and you are looking live at the great city of Chicago, which is once again playing host to the American Society of Clinical Oncology, ASCO. This is ASCO's 49th annual meeting, and this year's theme could not be more appropriate, Building Bridges to Conquer Cancer. More than 30,000 of the world's foremost cancer specialists are here, and so is our advocate in action feature, making our 15th appearance at ASCO and one of our very best. Joining me now is Gloria Borges, who is the founder and executive director of the Wonder Glow Foundation and the Wonder Project. Hello, Gloria. How's it going? It's going okay. Today we're going to feature you, talk about your own story, and how you are taking your cancer experience and becoming very proactive and using it to inspire others with your activities as an advocate in action. Thank you so much and it's uh, my pleasure to be here, my pleasure to share my story and, and talk a little bit about my work with the Wonder Project and the Wonder Glow Foundation. Tell us about the organization the, and the foundation and the project. I started the foundation a year after my diagnosis. We had our first event then and the goal with the foundation um, was really threefold. One was to raise money to fund cutting edge research, to develop new drugs, to get us closer to the cure. The second thing is to promote healthy lifestyle choices. So immediately when I was diagnosed, I started reading and figuring out ways to be a healthier, stronger person. Because I tell patients all the time, half of this is getting through the treatment. Half of this is being strong enough to withstand it. And the third thing we do as a foundation is we really try to be very personal. You know, it's my story. It's my body, it's my experiences kind of right there in front of you. We drew from my blog, again, which, is, which you know, details everything from two weeks out of being diagnosed to the present. Um, we draw from those stories mm -hmm. to help people, to say, oh, I'm getting my port in tomorrow, what's that like? Well, here's a link to my blog post telling exactly what it's like, and here's a picture before and after. So mm -hmm. people get a little less scared by the unknown, and, you know, I think having that mental toughness and having that courage and and fearlessness is important and the difference between the foundation and the project so the project is an initiative launched by the foundation we launched it in february of this year and it is laser focused simply on raising money for cutting edge research we have uh, the wonder project has this dream team of doctors led by dr lens um, my oncologist and you know, world-renowned clinician and researcher, um, but it also includes molecular biologists, uh, it includes the head, head of the genome atlas, the cancer genome atlas. Um, we have collaborators, people on our team from Belgium, from Italy, so we have this brain trust of doctors, and they have this scientific plan that is broken down in eight platforms to get to the cure. And essentially what Dr. Lenz and I did was, you know, I went to his office and I said, tell me how we cure this. And we had this conversation, hours long conversation. And from there, I created a document, synthesized it, broke it down into eight platforms, eight major steps to get to the cure. We put a timeline on each platform, so a certain period of time to complete each one, and a price tag, how much does each cost? And what we came up with was $250 million and eight to nine years. So it is my charge to raise that money for these doctors so they can do this large-scale research because you know you can't solve a problem this big with with th this much tools you know with the tools about this size you can't solve a thousand pay, uh, a thousand piece puzzle with 25 pieces and the current funding structure you get a million here you get two million there it's not enough to do large-scale right. work and that's the only way we're gonna crack the code with cancer with colon cancer or any other cancer What's your website? So the website for the project is www.thewonderproject, um, W-U-N-D-E-R, thewonderproject.org. When you think about your life as a survivor mm -hmm. and as an advocate, what's, what are some of the greatest things you've learned thus far from the experience? I think one of the biggest things I've learned, um, and this was a very natural thing to learn, it wasn't like a, a day where, boom, I learned it, uh, is having perspective and realizing what's really important in life. And I think that perspective helps me 
uh, manage stress. I mean, I don't get stressed. I'm running this campaign. I'm in treatment. I'm living a normal person's life with these huge ambitious goals. And I don't feel that stress and that pressure. Of course, I feel the pull to do the work that I do. I feel the um, urgency of it. And I'm extremely focused on my goals. However, things that get people worked up don't work me up anymore. I'm very even keeled. And I used to be very tightly wound, of course, you know, to get where I got, I was very tightly wound. And now I find that there's a way to be successful to get everything done, but to do it in a way that's sort of harmonious with your spirit and not getting too worked up. And so I think that was a huge lesson. And again, it's perspective building. You know, people get mad because they're sitting in traffic. Well, one of my best friends in the cancer world passed away last December, so she can't be in traffic right now. So I'm happy to sit here and think about my friend and not be upset, you know? And so you learn those things and you learn how to live a gentler life. Even if you are still with a belly full of fire like I am, you still have a little more harmony going on. Just the counterpart of Dr. Heinz Joseph Lenz, the same energy, the same intensity, the same passion. Having Dr. Lenz as my doctor and one of my best friends has been a huge blessing. I mean, if, if you were to tell me, I have a magic wand here and I can, I can wave it and take away your disease and the surgeries and everything else and you'll be cancer free and never, you never even had to walk this path but you also wouldn't have Dr. Lenz and you wouldn't have those patients you've met, you wouldn't have those experiences, I wouldn't take it. I would take this life path every single time. And a big part of that is my relationship with Dr. Lenz. Gloria Borges, founder and executive director of the Wonder Glow Foundation and the Wonder Project, the ultimate colon cancer survivor hmm. and vital options advocate in action. Thank you, Gloria.